If you're going to Curacao and you love sea turtles, you're going to want to watch this video. Hi, I'm Liz and I give practical travel tips from traveling to over 40 different countries, including which tours to take and which tours to skip. We did a full day trip with Erie Tours. We got picked up at 8.30 in the morning in front of Scuba Lodge in this school bus with no windows. There'll be more on that later. It's about an hour drive to our first stop, Canepa Beach, which is one of the nicest beaches in Curacao. See that yellow tape? The beach was closed because of the storms that happened earlier in the week. But look at how gorgeous it is from up here. We decided we were going to duck under the tape and go down to the beach anyway. It looks perfect. Why is it roped off? Our tour guide said it was closed and we were going to have to leave. But we weren't even all back on the bus when the officials came back and opened the beach. So we did get to enjoy it. I would bring a pair of water shoes. The rocks on the beach are a little painful to walk on, but the water is clear and beautiful. Our next stop was sea turtles at Playa Pescado. This was my favorite part of the trip. Snorkelers can swim with the sea turtles just off the dock. The tour does provide snorkel gear, but we brought our own and we jumped right in. Having your own gear also ensures that the masks fit right and you know that the mouthpiece is clean. They told us not to touch the sea turtles, but they will come right up to you and stare. Look at these amazing shots that I got with my GoPro. There were at least four turtles that I could count, and they circle around the swimmers, so you're definitely going to be seeing sea turtles the entire time that we are there. Watch this little guy come up for air. Next, we stopped at Casa Bao for lunch. My tip is to go straight to the snack stand as fast as possible since the lines are really long and the service is slow. If you do that, there's time for another dip in the water after a few burgers. Then it's on to the National Park, where in the rock formations, we can see a pistol or a blowhole, and there's also an underground cave. Remember I told you there were no windows on the bus? It started raining really hard on our way back. These were the flamingos that were supposed to be our last stop, but the rain was coming in horizontally into the bus. We had to hold up towels to shield ourselves. It was pretty crazy. We went in February, which is normally a dry season, but we had terrible weather. So going forward, I'm going to be booking all my outdoor trips early in the week to leave myself time to rebook in case of bad weather. So despite the very wet ride home, I still think that this tour was a very good value for your money. It was $75 per person and it saved you the hassle of renting a car and trying to find your way around. The signage around the parks was not very good and you also wouldn't have to pay additional entrance fee to get into the parks. Like, follow, and share for more tips on how to travel smart. See you out there.